Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get all iPhone 10 and iPhone 10 as gestures and kind of features on every single iPhone possible. So in that case, we're going to be using the iPhone 6s, uh, which is running the iOS 12.4. And if you did not know, you of course need a jailbreak for this one. But the latest jailbreak supports the latest iOS firmware, which is the iOS 12.4 as of right now. So today, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do just that, install everything in just in a few steps, in the two minutes, you're going to have everything from the iPhone XS or 10 on your iPhone 6 or 7 or 8, every single iPhone you guys want. So, of course, stick around. Of course, I'm asking for 100 likes on this video. So that will be super much appreciated, like always. And now let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing, guys, you need to do is, of course, have your iPhone jailbroken. If you don't have it jailbroken yet, just go ahead and watch that quick video that, of course, gives you a step by step instruction on how you can install that jailbreak very fast on your device right now without any computer. And if you've done this already, now let's proceed to the second part. So go ahead and launch your Cydia application and now add that source that you see up here. So this is repo.packix.com. It's going to be, of course, bigger on the screen right now. And in order to add this, just go ahead and click on edit, then add and type in that source. Click on add source and wait till it's being added to your iPhone. And after that, just go ahead and search for that tweak. And that tweak is called a little 10s or the little access. And it basically adds everything you need to have. So just go ahead and click on modify or install and install it on your device. And after that, you need to respring your device. And then you can, of course, see that tweak in its all glory like I have it here. So let's go ahead and actually go through everything that we have on this iPhone. Uh, let's start with the control center. So up here, as you can see, the control center, we can now swipe from the top and it will bring us the control center. And then, of course, this kind of a gesture that we have on the iPhone 10, the multitasking type of stuff. And of course, on the lock screen, we have these beautiful flashlights icons as well as the camera. So the flashlight, as you can see, that works again, the control center and then, of course, the camera up here. So what do you think, guys? Is that cool? Are you going to be using that in the future? I personally think that the new kind of gesture setup is much much better because you don't need to actually press the home button in order to close apps or just go inside of a multitasking it's just way way easier than before and anyways guys i really thank you for today's video for watching it and of course if you want to see more videos like this one in the future definitely be sure to smash the like button as well as share this video with friends family anyone who would be interested in it and i wish you guys a great great day and peace